this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and here I am with the HTC One M8 and last year's, I call it last year's, but uh, still on sale, the HTC One M7. Now we've been asked to do um, a little benchmark of the M8 and I thought well what better way to do that than actually to run the two side by side. I'm using Quadrant, there are many other benchmarking tools out there and Tutu is obviously quite a popular one uh, amongst people out there as well. But I am going to use um, Quadrant because I've used it for quite some time. It has recently been updated to deal with KitKat. Um, and I think it does give us a good comparison to um, other devices we've had there. So we're going to do a full benchmark on both. And uh, we'll see how quickly it goes through and what our final result is. Obviously the uh, HTC One M8 is, still, is already quite quickly ahead. As you would expect, we do have a... Snapdragon 801 chipset in there with a 2.3 GHz quad-core CPU. So we would expect it to be quite a bit quicker than last year's 1.7 quad-core um, HTC One M7. Um, but in terms of what that equates to in actual benchmark performance, well, we're about to see in just a moment. The M8 has nearly finished. The M7, well, I guess it's not that far behind. Maybe a s three seconds or so. And we can get to see our benchmark results. Um, and quite a staggering difference, really. Um, let's talk about very quickly about the M7. So we've got a 12,000. Oops, maybe a little bit too much on the zoom there. So we've got a score of 12,231. Um, obviously a big chunk of that is in the blue there from the uh, CPU. But that's our overall 12,231. The M8, however, is basically twice as fast. Uh, and if I can get the glare just right, uh, we have a score of 2,480, sorry, 24,087, so almost twice as fast as the M8. Um, if you run this a few times, we do actually get slightly different results. I have run it a few times already. Got high, scores as high as about 27. Um, thousand, um, obviously just very slightly in terms of the other bits. I don't think I've got anything else running on here. Oh, we've got a few things open. But uh, give you an idea, most of that is uh, attributed to the CPU, as you can see there in the blue bar. But pretty impressive. So there's your benchmark results uh, of the M8 and the compared to the M7. Uh, this has been Matt from tracymat.co.uk and I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews very soon.